Hi, so already you have done, you have done addition of measurement chapter. Now you are going to do the subtraction. You have to follow the same thing. As usual, you have to write the units. Then how many digits you have to write in the that units you have to see. Then you have to write column wise. Then you have to subtract. Okay, now... Shall we start the first one here in the question they have given. Find the difference between the following. Okay. Find the difference between following. So we are going to find the difference. That means we are going to subtract. Here the 34 kilometer and 75 meter. So let me write the unit first. Kilometer and meter. You know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. Okay. So here how many digits you supposed to write? 3 digits. How many digits you supposed to write? 3 digits. Here okay in kilometer they have given 34. So we have written and in meter so 75. So 5, 7 I told you. We have to write 3 digits because 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. In 1000, 3 zeros are there. So, we have to write 3 digits. So, here already we have written 2 digits. For 3rd digit, we will write 0. For 3rd digit, we have to write 0. Okay. Now, next kilometer here we will write for meter 0, 8, 2 and for kilometer 8, 5. Then as usual, you are going to subtract. As usual, you are going to subtract. Okay. So 5 minus 0, 5. 7 minus 8, we cannot minus. So we have to borrow. So here from here, we cannot borrow. So from here, we are going to borrow. So from here, we will be borrow. This comes, this will become 3 and here 10. And from here, when we borrow, it comes 17. And here 9. Okay. As usual how you borrow. The same thing we are going to borrow. So 17 minus 8. So 9. 9 minus 2. 7. 3 minus 8. We cannot. So we have to borrow. So it will become 2. And here 13. So 13 minus 8. 5. 2 minus 1. 1. So 15 kilometer. 795 meter. This is our answer. Have you got it? Now the next. So the next question is 32 kg 80 gram and 23 kg 985 gram. Okay. So shall we write here kg and gram. 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram. That means here we have to write 3 digits. Okay. Remember. Now 32 for gram here 80 is given. So here we have to write one more zero because three digits must be there. So here 5, 8, 9, 985 and 3, 2. Shall we subtract 0 minus 5? We cannot so we have to borrow. So when we borrow it becomes 10 and 7 here. So 10 minus 5, 5. So 7 minus 8 we cannot. So from here when we borrow it becomes 1. Here 10. From here to here 17. Then here 9. Okay. 17 minus 8. So 9. 9 minus 9, 0. Then from 1 we cannot subtract. So from here 11 it becomes and here 2. So 11 minus 3. 11 minus 3, 8, 2 minus 2, 0. Have you got it? Okay, shall we do few more questions? So here the next question is, 1 quintal is 1 quintal and 375 kg. Okay, now 1 quintal means, 1 quintal means 100 kg. 1 quintal means 100 kg. Okay, 
so this whenever we add or subtract the units must be same here kg means here also it must be kg okay here quintal means here also it must be a quintal okay so we cannot change the unit just to add or subtract the units must be same okay when we add uh, when we did um, money chapter also we rupees and rupees we can add paise and paise we can add otherwise we have to convert and add but rupees and paise with different unit we cannot add or subtract okay so here now remember 1 quintal is equal to 100 kg so instead of 1 quintal here we are going to write 100 kg and we are going to do the subtraction so 100 kg and here 375 kg in subtraction you know that the bigger number should be on the top so the bigger number is 375 so kg i have written on the top then next one is 100 kg shall we subtract then 5 7 3 minus 1 2 275 kg okay have you got it now one more question 40 liter 120 milliliter and 20 liter 275 milliliter so shall we write the first number liter milliliter units then we will write the numbers 40 120 okay the second number 275 milliliter so 5 7 2 and 20 here 0 2 so always i told you whenever we write the numbers in subtraction on the top we write the bigger number okay greatest number we write on the top then the next number we write down then we subtract okay but you have to remember when you see the number you have to see both the units okay see here 40 here 120 275 if you see alone this two 75 is bigger and 120 is smaller but you should not see like that 40 liter 120 ml and here 20 liter 275 ml together we you have to see which is the big one 40 liter 120 ml or 220 20 liter or 275 ml which is the big one 40 liter 120 ml is the big one okay so you should not see separately okay this is as one number this is a number one number this is one number you cannot just liter separate and milliliter separate you cannot see like that have you get got it you cannot see like that liter and milliliter together you had 40 liter 120 milliliter 20 liter 275 milliliter you have to see together okay when you see together then you have to find out which is the big one and small one okay not taking the separate only milliliter and seeing this is the big one so i'll write on the top no not like that have you got it because this is the mistake always you people repeat so that's why i'm saying you must remember this thing so shall we subtract now so 0 minus 5 not possible so shall we borrow it comes 10 and 1 10 minus 5 5 and here 1 and 0 11 minus 7 4 and here we have to borrow so 3 and here 10 again 9 it becomes here 10 10 minus 2 8 9 minus 0 9 3 minus 2 1 so 19 liter and 845 milliliter have you got it so you have to remember specially two three things what is that you how many digits you supposed to write that one you have to remember another thing when you see which is the big one or small one you have to see both the units together not the separate one okay we are seeing the in the liter only which is the big one small one and in the milliliter which is the big one small one not like that it together it makes one number so you have to 40 liter is the big one so that same number you will write here and here 20 is the small one so you 20 and 275 milliliter down so like that only you have to place the numbers have you got it 
So watch this video again and again. Each and every point you remember, you will not make mistake.